let's start things off drama. the fun way. Ah. So, because I've been forgetting to do everything, as I do, as I am, because, I don't know, I was probably dropped multiple times as a child, um, inspiration for whoever can actually remember what happened, because I can't even remember what I'd done last night. We did the thing. I remember a little bit. There was a stone, well, rather, there was a stone, sta it was a statue, and that statue turned into what we would know as a were leopard. We didn't know where leopards existed. We fought it, it was immune to anything but, uh, I guess, uh, silver damage and um, elemental damage. So yeah, pretty pr pr pretty were leopardy. Um, when we when it died, it returned to a statue. I performed testicular exams on everybody. Um, I couldn't find anything, but I wasn't very I wasn't looking very hard. Uh, we went back down the hallway. Um, what what else happened? Shit, it's all like the the timeline of events is a circle in my brain right now, and I don't know where the points are, but you know it, it was a shot. Maybe it's worth something. Uh, let me let me look at this. Let me zoom on in. There's like a is this a well? This could be a well, maybe. Something magical. Oh, I accidentally um, locked the door. God damn it! I'm sorry for all the noise. Oh yeah, no, no, no. Um, so I I remember now. So we the Indiana Jones Boulder. So we were exploring, <laughs> and we found a we found like this hallway with a a staircase. Mm -hmm. that slowly inclines a bit and once you know that you know a staircase that's slowly inclining that much <laughs> that it has to be pointed out that means that there is a giant indiana jones boulder no one listened to exodus and got fucking killed almost fucking squashed um to be fair it, i wasn't you, there to listen but if i was i wouldn't have and then the world's funniest hush conversation happens as uh, Exodus moves up, and then uh, Fane was like, "We need to, we need to keep going. We gotta, can't go back and rest. We have to keep going." And then Exodus moves forward, and he sees something, and Fane is like, "Let's leave! Let's leave! Oh my God! Let's leave!" Ah, ah. You just had to put that in there, huh? <laughs> and it had the enemy had exactly one HP. <laughs> So we turn back and rest because, you know, Fane's uh, non gender specific lady bits were hurting. Uh, listen, they're a changeling. Okay, it's 2023. No, they're not. Oh. Revel was a changeling. <laughs> Fane's an Aladrin. Ah. Uh, Fane's an elf. Alright, well, point being, we move forward. Uh, we got a, a gas stalker, I think, or is a gas spreader? Gas spore. Just like, is like the essentially the sweat drop off of a beholder's testa, um, <laughs> and it just zooms around and we broke it. It shot gas everywhere. That was bad. We moved forward, found this room. No, found the room next to it. The where tiger came alive. I mean, the were leopard came alive, attacked us all. A number of the party were bitten. We don't know what's going on because we've never faced a were leopard before, or any were creatures, I think. And we moved on to the next room, and in the next room there was more religious iconography, I believe, and there are like bits and pieces of some puzzle going on here that, like, some deeper meaning to the, the leper that we just haven't pieced together yet. At this point here, per me, as good as a as good as a recap that was, literally at this point, I will give someone inspiration just for getting the name of the fucking creature they fought right. The uh, yeah, I get that inspiration, I'm sorry. What, I mean, the the were -jaguar? Jaguar? You're talking about his name? Oh, the were jaguar. Yeah, that's where we go. Jaguar. 
Call him Leopard. Oh, I said Blue Jaguar. Oh, you said uh, you said we're Leopard as well, man. Oh yeah, my it was, damn! It was a yeah, leopard. it was a weird. It leopard. Everyone said ja everyone oh, said potato <laughs> fucking potato. <laughs> <laughs> Gross cat. To be fair, I mean, which one? If, will, if you want to really split like hairs, a jaguar or a leopard? If you want to really split hairs, it's actually a were tiger, just with a different name. Literally tells you just to use the stat block of a were tiger. No. But yeah. So Exodus was right, and he gets inspiration. Yeah, also give no, him a good recap. Hey, yo. Pardon me. Uh, so. Hey, movie. Hey, John. Let's see. Hey, I've got, uh. Hey, four people in Discord and two in game. I can, uh. Let me. Yeah, my computer just turned on. I had to pet the cat real quick. Now I'm gonna log in. It's yeah. not logging in for me. You have to pay tribute to my, uh, to my master. Oh, Lev, you should have the name yeah, Spectator. You should have the name Spectator, just use that. My master, Draylon, we may have been freed as slaves, uh, but new slavery is not the prison industrial complex. It is pets. See, 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 see how he's not even looking at me while he says, Hey, come here, somebody, I need something. Lev, uh, for it, you're gonna get a login screen? You're gonna see the name Spectator. Click that, and then just click log in. There's no password. Are you on a phone or a laptop, by the way, or a tablet? Uh, I'm on my phone, but I can go on my laptop. To view, probably best, but on your laptop, just uh, how it is. Yeah, I'm not given a login. What are you given? All right, I'm logging in, but I'm gonna to have to go heed. Um. um description with links with um information and in, re in reviewing hmm. what phone are you using okay, give me a moment I'll, baby i'll roll my laptop because maybe it's easier there as built for yeah laptops and such but i know certain phones can be really funny yeah yeah i'm actually looking at it here on my phone and it's not giving me logins either hey baby Purple baby baby What's up? It's giving What's up, me administrator oh, yeah. players. Didn't we end on you saying we have to roll initiative? No. Oh, that was another campaign. Yeah. Or another session. Yeah. Like I said, the timeline's a circle. And probably a bit of both, you know, straight. I don't like ending on saying roll initiative unless, like, you know, it's really thematically fun. So, I'll give you the descriptor of the room that you're in once more because, you know, I'm nice like that. Ooh. Let's see whatever you want. Uh, so let's see. Numbers are this room here. So, passage leads towards a double set of doors, bronze bearing an engraved face of a jaguar god. Both walls in the corridor carpet represent two lines of warriors in profile, holding hatchet-headed pole arms and facing the western doors. These figures are painted with vivid life-like colours: reds, black, white, green, and yellow. Use inadvertently, accidentally. I uh, feel like it's becoming deliberate, activated the trap, and had to crawl under two electrified statues. Where you've entered into this room, where a rush of warm, fetid air greets you. The room, lit with a sanguine goal. On the wall, opposite to the door, are several human skins attached to the wall. A cat and nine tails hangs beside them. To the west of the room, widens to accommodate a statue that's almost to the ceiling. The statue is an ogre-like figure, outfitted with flayed skins and adorned with skulls with a gaping mouth wide enough to swallow a horse whole. It is seated atop a huge basin of red-hot coals, more than 10 foot in diameter. Around the statue is a pile of splintered bones and skulls with cracked pates and broken weapons. In front of the display crouches a panther, deathly still, facing away from the statue. And as to the east, walls are highly polished. They loosely enclose an intricately carved well that seems to be illuminated from within. Beyond the well, mounted on the wall, is a blackened mirror with a richy, <laughs> richly ornated frame. Discreetly above the well is a 25 foot high ceiling with a 5 foot wide opening that can be discerned from the red light of the room. End of essay. 
And that's where we came Alright, um... Oh. We were trying to get in this hole in the ceiling. Can anyone else <laughs> confirm the wee part? Into a griffin? <laughs> what? It was a joke. Uh, I don't have wild shape. Not a druid. No, I think griffins are monstrosities. I don't know what, what, what druid I was, mm. but I wild shaped into a hippogriff or something like that one, one session. Hippogriff, I'm pretty sure, is a monstrosity. I'm not sure what I all chipped into, but it was like a it was like a griffin or a hippogriff, and I, f and I fought with it. But it was it might have been a homebrew uh, subclass for druid. But there's either a, way, there's a circle that, that lets you turn into a monstrosity. I forget what it is. Uh, but I asked Bernard to help me up. Up, peace. How? You want me to help you up where? Uh, there's a hole in the ceiling. I want to see where it goes. Hold on. Yeah. <clears throat> wait, 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 wait. There's a hole in the ceiling, and you just mm -hmm. want to stick your head up there. Yep. Just. Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah. So. I just will <laughs> step around the corner. <laughs> Right, baby, I'd love to stay with you and help you eat your food, but I need to go sit and eat my food, so I will be fast. That's some you unspecified time. Look at oh, Fane, no. you hear his request, and you look up at the hole in the ceiling, Renard. Um, it's gonna it's gonna require a bit more than him being on your shoulders to uh, even yeah. reach so that. 20, 25 feet, you said? 25 That's feet. A... Are we looking for somebody with a grappling hook before? I think there was somebody. talk of a grappling hook of some sort or something to create a pulley or such, I suppose. Fain a monk. Well, real quick, hold on. Is Fain a pure monk? Pure monk? No. Shouldn't he just be able to. Oh. Wait, no. Oh, took a level in fighter. I um, I can't, I have, I can't uh, run up wall. Yeah. <clears throat> I can't. How high up is the hole again? I'm sorry. <clears throat> How high up is the hole again? Twenty-five foot. Twenty-five feet. Is there anything um, in the room that would help us get up there? Yes, but, um, well, it's kind of part of the room. That being? The big 20-foot statue that's 10-foot wide, made of stone. The one on the other end of the room? Is it right yep. below the hole? No, it's the other end of the room, all the way over here. Okay. If we really wanted to get engine, um, we'll try some wack. Well, not in ingenious, but try some wacky shit. We could try tying something to my spirit, to tying tying a rope to my spiritual weapon, having it float up there. Try right, what? I mean, tying a rope to work, a spiritual that's, weapon. That's just, same, that's just the same as like throwing a weapon up there and hoping it sticks. No, I can move the weapon up there and, I guess, make it stay. Or I could have it, or I could find something until it... I, I don't fucking know. I can change it into any kind of weapon shape I need. Right? You could, yeah. yeah, you can make it look like a hook, or not even a hook, just like a, a staff. Tie rope to the spiritual weapon and have it go up there, and just you can climb the rope. Uh... It would be a long shot, I don't know if it would work, but like... I mean, if we're trying wacky shit, is what I said. Let me see, um... Bavar, baby. I've been... So I looked at something and I've confirmed that uh you would not be able to. Okay. Because the wording of spiritual weapon is you form a spectoral weapon, which would also be the reason why it does force damage and not bludgeoning, piercing, or slash. Ah, okay. Got you. That was a good fucking shout though. Yeah. Yeah. If it didn't say that, I'd have been here for it. Hmm? Didn't say that. I don't if only my it. dancing, 
if only my dancing sword were um were not fixed to attacking and was fr freely able to be freely moved around but it was not so mm. um hmm all I have are crossbow bolts and lots of rope and torches if we want hand handheld handholds but I don't know how we're going to fix it up there now if we had what is this white thing over rather what is under the hole is that, is that is that the bed of coals in the statue I'm glad you asked what's in here so in here the illumination from inside the well comes from a liquid light. The fluid looks almost like oil and clings to everything it touches. Yeah, I don't, I don't like the sound. That sounds like oil, um, but it's emitting light. Um, can I roll? Can, can, can I try to see if it? Can I? Can I see if it feels uh, magical to me? If my limited magical sense. I know, like, yeah. you go shit for me every time I ask to do this, but it doesn't hurt to try. Yeah, throw an arrow, get our comic check. Um, uh, given that it's an, given that it's a liquid that seems to be given off light, it's not a light coming from underneath it because the liquid's too thick and heavy, as you see, as it clings to the walls and as it goes up the walls, light shines from where it's touched. There's some magic there, but. God knows if you can pinpoint how or why. Hmm. Okay. I want to take... Let's see. I want to take a... Let's say a pea... Like a, like a, like a little chunk of bread from a ration. Mm -hmm. I want to drop it in there and step back. Did you... Do you believe it or not if I tell you the book has this covered? For bread? It's you. So you take your little bitty bread and you throw it into <coughs> the you throw it into the well. John, I have a question for you. Do you think you can answer it? John, I have a question. Do you think you'd be able to answer this okay, one for yeah, me? Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, sure, 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 sure. What age is this? Sure. What age is this? Age of mortals? Age of dreams? How old oh. is that? Oh, John. I don't remember. Mm. War of the Lands, I think it might be the Age of Mortals. Because <laughs> it, um, it comes down to whether or not this is a language that people would understand. Um, mm -hmm. Age of... Fuck. Give it position? Uh, so, Dragonlance. Age of... Age of Despair? I think it is... Age of Dreams is often considered to begin a recorded history and run CA 9000 PC to 960 PC. Um, PC, that's pre-cataclysm. Yep. Yep. Uh, it says the war begins 348 AC in the Age of Despair. So, as Clifton plops in mm. his little bit of bread into it, you feel this rumbling. The foundations seem to shake. And you hear in a language that no one seems to ascertain or understand. Oh, I see. <sighs> the 
he said, uh, he said, thank you for the bread. Put <laughs> away. Good job, Clifton. He's gonna pat him on the back. I was hope that's what he said. I'm, I'm visibly shaken, <laughs> shivering in, in, in my boots, shivering a timber. Um. I'm not gonna put anything else in there. I quickly <laughs> put my, the rest of my ration away. What happens to the bread? Does it just float down there, or does it disappear? Does it burn up? The pick also covers this. You watch as the bread goes in, as it does, the liquid seems to start to engulf it. And as it engulfs it, you watch as it seems to shine this bright, almost it's basically luminescence before the whole piece of bread is encased and as it is the darkness takes it and then it seems to just sink into the liquid mm. well I think I know what this is it's an amoeba oh amoeba <clears throat> oh no I don't say the actual I actually in character I don't I don't think he would know what a fucking amoeba was. I don't know what an amoeba is. It's a single cell organism that usually eats in you know, a way characteristic to what you're just describing, engulfing <laughs> its prey whole, and then it just kind of disappears, dissolves, whatever you will have, with, whatever you may you know, do with it. Today I learned. But um, I'm not on my computer right now. I'm, I'm a slave to the cat. But um, if if somebody could um, take command of me for right now, that would be good. But also, I want to look to Renard and ask him what he makes of this as a holy man, or what he makes of that voice. I'm going to uh, I'm going to take a python. Okay. Like uh, the the metal spike used for like. Yeah, climbing and tie it to a rope. Okay. Tie the end of it to a rope. And the way where it makes like a like at the end where it makes like a knot and a hook, right? Okay. And I am going to chuck this into the uh, hole on top as hard as I can. Okay. See if it catches on anything. As you kind of whip this up and up it goes, you watch as it seems to arc before you hear ping, 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 ping. I uh, pull the rope a bit, trying to see if I can catch on anything. Solid enough so we can climb up. To give it a bit of a tug. It seems to, you know, you're very light tugs to see if you catch anything. You do feel that there is some resistance in certain places before you watch as in an arc similar to how it went up the python comes back down you hear oh Undyte. once more sorry for hitting you in the head pain says trying to look like he understands them okay uh huh That's interesting. Something's up there, well, obviously. Yeah. And I want to know what. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I've got is um, a trident would span the hole. If we could get it up there and situated where it would span the hole so we could climb up. But that might take some doing. Um, so you're, you know, you're thinking of like aquamaning this thing up there and hoping that it creates like a kind of like a bar for a well to try and pull yourself up on is that what I'm getting here? That's yeah exactly. Yeah okay. That would be pretty lucky. Do you have the necessary materials to do so? Well I've got a trident and a rope. How much more material do I need? Then as you roll it up, I'm not gonna make any change. Gonna 
throw this up in such a way and start to finagle with it. It's probably a made up word, right? Nah, mm -hmm. it's definitely a word, Jerry. Finagle might work better. Finagle. <laughs> a source. <laughs> Finland. For the finagle. <laughs> I don't know what this is. It's a Finnish bagel. But you throw it on up there. And <laughs> as you do, you get it right where it needs to be. You give it a good tug, good little pull, and yeah, it's solid. Can it withstand your weight is the next question. Well, he's going to hop up and uh, see if he can withstand his weight. Not mine. Somebody lighter. I don't wear any armor, so it's cool. Who wanted to go up anyway, Frankie? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to this guy and see what he's uh he's all about. How dare he throw my Python back like that? Yeah. Then, as you claim on up, Finn, you realize that the walls oh. are very smooth. You couldn't, you know, grip your way up or stick anything in. There's definitely the need for this pulley system. Mm -hmm. You see, standing in the back corner of the room, a man. I'll move you out of the hole real quick. It's a rather disheveled, older looking man in a tribalistic outfit. Uh, Fane calls down the hall. Come on up, guys, if you can. All right, who's next? Oh. You want me to test it first, or you want to go? No. Nope. I'm the heaviest, I would think. Oh. I can go <clears throat> I'm just a large yeah. man, but a thin one, so I don't have a whole lot of armor on me, so... Yeah, I'll go up. I got chain mail. Oh shit! There's yeah, a lot of chain mail. Fifty five uh, pounds. All those uh, cheese. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Oh, actually, I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a python and my hammer, uh, knock it down into this stone a couple times and tie a rope to it and toss it down the hole. No. no. He says no. He says something. What the fuck did I miss? The whole side of talking. <laughs> I think Not it's the, the ceiling that's talking. Watch what? the feet. I'm most doubt. I'm... Listen, Somebody up there. Yeah. Um... Is he snoring? Is he, is he asleep? I think he's. I think he's mad. <laughs> um, <laughs> hurry up, guys, please. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll go on up there. I don't know how I'm gonna do the animation to go up there, cool. but okay. you see, you see. Scottish, I don't, I don't like that. Scottish, that movement box was too big for that token. <laughs> yeah, that, that I, I don't like that box. either. I'm, I just, I just, over, I just hovered over it. I'm like, what the hell? That Hogan movement flip box is great. <laughs> that's out of character. That movement box was too big for that token. <laughs> the I go to get into awesome. range to swing a sword at this thing, and it's, um, I've already entered its space. I don't like that. No. You guys it's... climbed up the, the rope? Yeah, you just climb up yeah. the rope. Come up here. So there's someone talking up there. Alright. Yeah, he's it talking in, uh, um, he's talking in Gobdy Gook. Gobdy Gook? He looks like a woman. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, no, it's just a token. Never mind. As. Okay. As you are standing up. Exodus, are you going up, Bernard? Are you going up? You just hear the noises, and you're gonna hear the scuttling of movement. I tossed a, I tossed a more solid rope down. <laughs> That'd be great. I don't know. That's yeah, a... I'll, uh, I'll climb on up. Actually, I, 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 oh my bad. I can stand at the edge and toss the rope down and hold on to it firmly. Oh yeah, there goes Mellow now. Just roll up. Everyone's up. It does. I was expecting an immediate death trap. Oh, I was expecting it to be like that clip I sent you, where he just sticks his nope. head in, and then just... 
He was just a weird guy in a in a in a cell full of bones. You know? Drag over it. How do I? Let's go. You're up. Up. Oh, up. Oh, oh, oh. There you go. Oh. You're in. You good? You see yourself? Mm. Uh oh. Is the is the world better for you now? Yeah, it's good for me. Thank you. Okay. Then I'm just trying to get myself something. As it shouts and makes its noise. These all start clamoring up. And as it does, as you look, commoner lifts their hand up. As they do, you hear the phrase as they move back. It's gonna move back. This is mine. Not for use. And I have inadvertently oh. said it's concentrating when it's not. I'm trying to get something, worry not, I'm trying to see sizes, however, as it does you watch as they pull also... a huge glaive from off their back, you watch as they, I need everybody to go ahead and roll initiative. Oh shit. Damn it. You don't end that way, but I knew it was coming. With the room that we walked into, I knew it. Oh, I've never this all big. I knew he was the person. <laughs> I've never fought one of these before. This oh, is so cool. Marginally, I have. I have. I think a character got killed by it. Actually, no, 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 no. We were robbing shit from him. And yeah, I remember because you kept like, using unseen servant to rob him because he couldn't leave the room because he was too big. <laughs> <laughs> remember when he done that, John? Do you remember? <laughs> he he was so unfit. He, it was, it was, that was so funny, bro. Uh, one sec. So I'm, Let me, um... Uh, there we go. I was gonna say, I'm 110% missing someone. Right here. I'm gonna roll in me and, uh, Melano. It was Melano was talking. So... Exus was on top. Okay. That was fun. So... Do as Melano would, not as Melano does. So, uh, Liv, initiative is, we, uh, get to fight something, right? Mm -hmm. So... For this occasion, it's this Oni. I'll go that's that way. Boom, boom. So, yeah, essentially uh, in D and D, a whole fight, la a whole fight every turn, well every round, is it's meant to be six seconds, but five rounds can last four hours. But in game time, sorry, that's how six many seconds. Hours? What was that, sir? Did you say how many hours? A uh, a whole fight. That goes like five rounds can easily last two hours. But the most fun and strategic thing in two hours of your fucking life. But in the game, 30 seconds has passed. You've done all this in 30 seconds in IRL. You've had a break. You've went to the toilet. You've made food. Mm -hmm. But in game, nah. 30 seconds. Wow. Don't worry, the most unrealistic thing about D&D is the fact that everybody, at the end of the day, gets an uninterrupted eight hours sleep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Speak for yourself. Those are drunk, my bad. I was actually really envious and felt a bit sad that you managed to get a hold of it. Oh. RJ, what are you fucking concentrating on, mate? I think it's still on that fu what the fuck did I cast last time? I don't know, but it never Blood left. Letter. I don't know how to remove it completely from Skim. myself, but thank Skim. you. I'm also going to quickly check something, um, just before we start, because I got a t uh, I won't be on here, I got a module that lets me do a ton of stuff, so um, immunities and such get taken into consideration now when I add things, so like if I were to try and give, well, this is what, this is what I found out, Fane, um, at a certain point, monks just become completely immune to poison. Like, oh yeah, yeah. That I think it's like perfect self, but I'm not gonna get that this kind of. I thing. think it's like I don't know. Elijah's got it, and Elijah's only level ten. 
Really? So yeah, there's a chance that you will get it. Um, do not ask me when. What I will ask is, at the top of the round... Ruthain, what are you doing? Is this huge creature that looks a bit like me in the mornings arises. Ruthain's going to move in and do what he do. Where is it? <laughs> One, two... 19 yes, 13 no. <clears throat> you know what? What, gonna, what type of damage we're doing? Um, let's still rock with acid. Hasn't failed me yet. You're gonna uh, slap the acid and creature <gasps> groans. Um, Fane's going to go ahead and put in one of these to him. We got ourselves three twenty total damage. Alright. Uh that's gonna be all from my turn. Actually. Oh. Nah, I can't do that. Disengage is an action. But right. yeah, that's it. Okay. Clifton. Oh shit. Yeah, so I'm gonna move you on over here. Throw my sword up in the air. I've attuned to it, let's see what it can do. I might have it attack that creature, uh, whatever it may be. I love how the initiative order is being up at 19, and then the next number is 9. Insane gets to do twice. I believe that is my bonus action to do that. So you make so an attack with your... Dancing longsword is weird, give me a second. Uh, I'll be honest, I... Uh... You're the first person I've ever... I use a bonus action, toss the sword up in the air and speak the command word. When, when you, you do, do the so. sword hovers, flies 30 feet and attack one creature your choice within 5 feet of it. So I can have the sword fly over there to him, yep. attack him, or as a bonus action. While it's there, you can use your bonus action to cause it to fly 30 feet to another spot in front of you as part of the same bonus action. It can make an attack. So yeah, you can lift it up, you know, shout, live your tha. It comes up and... Swang for max damage, mate. Max fucking damage. <clears throat> yeah. And for my action, I'm going to damn it back to the hell it came from. Oh. And cast holy word. Oh. Um, well, that should be two d eight. So, is that two d eight there? Uh, two d eight for radiant damage, yes, but an eight misses. Ah, yeah. Didn't see that. My bad. That's right. I thought you were gonna cast banishment. Yeah. To be fair. You know, I wonder if I have that. that I'm going to end my turn, but I'm going to look and see if I have that in my in my spells I can know right now. Because right. we haven't had a long rest where I can actually... Well, a long rest where I... Yeah, I do have banishment here on my, like, known... Well, not, not, not known, but well, known, but not prepared. I haven't been active on my character sheet when, they have, when we have a rest, so I haven't changed my spells in a while. That's all right. Renard. Yep, yep. Well, it's closed with the enemy and raise my long sword. Well, now you gotta do it. A precise strike. To get the advantage on the first attack. Yeah. Oops. Twenty-four for ten. We are doing multiples of ten, I'm noticing a fucking pattern here. <laughs> Added for flavor. Let's Plus D8. Also D8, you said? Yeah, the very precise strike will give you D8 whenever you make an attack and you hit, remember? Oh, yeah. Okay, so Ooh, we got God loves you. 7, 10, 19, 26 currently. And a miss. 26 total damage is still a lot of fucking damage. If the blood didn't give that away. Is there anything else with your turn? Is... Um, okay. okay. Then, apologies. I should have done this earlier when the going through here, and I apologize. Uh... So, this creature that you see here 
looks how it looks. However, that cloak that it wears, that cloak is made entirely of human skin. Ah! Yeah. yeah. So, so it's a little bit hey, there, but I feel like... Don't be judgmental, it's people clothes, okay? <laughs> Literally. Or not... It's just people clothes. Did it ask your tongue, man? Um, the homeless guy in the fellow probably went to a ball and showed up naked no. and somebody said, we're some people clothes, why don't you? And he went and did that. Sorry, John, what was that? Out. No, I'm done. Okay. Exodus, uh, where are you? So, I, I didn't want to uh. interrupt anything, but for some reason I was sent back to the other map. <laughs> there you go, man. I, I didn't want to... Mm. Yeah, thank you. Uh, my vision is still... Is oh, he... it's, it's the same map. Yeah, yeah, same map. You're All just right. dragging yourself northward. Do apologize there. You're good. Um, I'll move, you know, my usual 10. Yarn. And then I'll, you know, do I even got to say it? The booming blade sneak attack extraordinaire. The try and succeed. Yeah, the good old try and succeed. A 21 is a success. Is a succession? <laughs> 21 is a success. Uh, so, 5, 8, 13. Gonna come in and give it that. Ding. Then an additional six gives me tw that's nineteen damage total. I'm gonna watch it. And then as Exodus is just gonna Zoidberg the fuck out of there. Yep. Exactly, you know how it is. As you watch as the Oni essentially is encased this almost very thin bubble. We all know what happens next. Do not answer turn next with us? Yeah, I yeah, bonus action Fortnite dance on him, and then no, that's it. Melano. Melano's going to. Ah, uh, mind sliver him. Ooh, intelligence saving throw. Succeeds. Oh shit! Okay. Ooh. Yeah, no, he's cool. Watches the eye, twitches, and it turns to look. Done it last turn? No, that's it. Okay. You watch as the Oni looks around, and as it does, you watch some of these wounds. Not an awful lot of them, <laughs> but some of them start to heal up. <laughs> he, ain't, he ain't seen round three, I'll tell you that much right now. He does pulls out the glaive, spins it, and then just jabs straight towards Fane before immediately following up and round and down into Renard. Fane one, Renard two. Fane one. That's a nat one. That's two nat ones back to back. <laughs> Dog water. Get him out of here. Man, this man's only thing is being sent straight to the fucking shadow realm, Fane. 25 will hit for 8. Oh, oh yeah, I so said, yeah, you just, you just gotta be an asshole at that, don't you? At 16, 17, 18, 19, 25 total damage. You just go boom, 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 boom. Did anyone else your turn? 25 plus 15. It's 40, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you just gonna boom, boom, boom. Acid for like. Black necrotic damage, you need the spider web from your punches. Don't anything else your turn? No, that's it. Clifton, the giant creature. Oh, he's looked better. He's looked considerably better. In fact, you could argue he looked better when you walked in here. <laughs> ah, RG is muted. Could have just he could have just gave us all his gold and it would have been a problem, you know? It wouldn't have been a problem. He didn't have to fight. He didn't have to die here. So RG's muted. Uh you wanna go ahead and take that turn from Ben? Yeah, I can do that. Uh what does he have? Weapons he has everything. And spells. And he has everything. I'm going to um went to Hogwarts and done spells and shit. Yeah, I'm going to crossbow. A 20 for 5 will hit. 
and I'm gonna blood litter that crossbow. Don't bo don't bother. Okay. <laughs> Just collapse. Get fucking five hit points. <laughs> like I said, it ain't seen round three. Did you just hear the... ...of the body collapsing to the ground? I will now clean up the blood. <coughs> As it were, you stand in here. As it drops, you watch as it falls onto one of these things here and as it does you hear the crack followed by this of things falling out the things falling mm -hmm. out yep uh, I guess you should... what uh things gonna check you know okay and as you take a look around you find a wooden cylinder firstly about Yay big, you know. Looks like a, almost like a map tube, if you want, but it's old and decayed. Uh, you also find nestled in there pelts. Numerous pelts of white, spotted black, ginger, and they're small. They're so small that you reckon. These are the pelts of house cats. Okay. Yep. You also find two leather bags. Rather nice and intricate. Empty, but you know, one on the front says YSL and the other one has a, a green and red band and says Gucci. So like, you know. <laughs> two leather bags. Gucci's worth a grand, I'll tell you that much. Actually, each, take... each bag is worth uh, 1,000 silver pieces. What? Yeah. I think I threw designer brands on there for the fun of it. Each bag. You also find an intricately carved ivory tube about one foot tall. Hmm. Sorry, ivory cube. Okay. One foot by one foot ivory cube in this box. I look at the um the tube. Is there anything in there? As you look in the tube, there is some paper in there, yes. I check it out. You cannot read the inscription on this paper. Um I give it to Mel and I'll see if she knows it's magic or not. Magic? Uh, I just need to check. Yeah, she knows what it is. She looks. The uh, scroll of detect magic. Okay. Hmm. About Roll of um, detect magic. I really would have laughed if someone had used detect magic on it, I'll be honest. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't gonna believe it. Hmm. Look around the room. Um, I think. I think the party loot sheet's getting big. I can't see past a certain point in that. You also have a very small screen, to be fair. Yeah, I do. Alright. There's All right. 17 uh, things on there, and he's saying it's getting big. The portable folk, hey, the party loot and dungeon of the mad mage is three pages long at least. And you said a uh, ivory cube, a one foot by one foot ivory cube. Yes. Hmm. Is that big cube? I'm a. Oh, is it opening? Uh, make a perception check. 
or investigation, okay. whichever one's better for you. <clears throat> Scottish just gave us a limit configuration, guys. <laughs> I was so tempted to do that and descent into Avernus until I realized that it actually opened up to be the plot hook. Um, perception. Solid mass. Solid mass. Uh, I'm gonna have Melano do perception as well. Solid mass. Oh, come on. What's that, Rod? Oh, can I do it? Fuck it, yeah. Okay. This will be fine. Yeah. Solid no, mass. Is not not going to do any good. Okay. Um. Hmm. I'm not taking those. Um. I'm not taking those cat coats. I'm just, you guys know that right now. Not taking the cat pelts? No, I'm not, not taking the cat pelt. No. Um, <clears throat> now there is another one of... I'm sorry, I'm moving Melanon. I'm going to move Fane. There is another one over here. You said it, he knocked open one of these things and there was stuff inside, right? Yes. Okay, I uh, pop open this one then. Do you burst it open and keep digging through... Uh, a lot more cat pelts. A lot, a lot so more cat pelts. I'm glad we killed this psychopath. The major cat disappearance of 340? This guy. <laughs> this sick man. Mm. Oh, that, that's all? There's cat pelts, cat pelts, cat pelts. Cat alright. Yep. Damn cat pelts, alright. Part of me was gonna make a joke, but we 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 have we we have company here today. I ain't gonna do that. All right, uh, I'm gonna check the guy himself. See if he has anything interesting on him. Uh, barring his glaive, nothing seems to be on him, and unless you really want that downright disgusting uh, cloak of human pelts. Which at that point there we can call you leather back. No, we're fine with that. The Northern Waste Monk Massacre. Yeah. I'm good. I don't want it. Are there any more of uh, those boxes or is it just these two? Just the two. Okay. And the book has the cheek to call that a hoard. <laughs> it, was, it was his horde, you know? Oh, the dragon's horde, but you know, whatever. I'm gonna slide back down the hole. Oop. You're down. You slide to the left. Bang. Are you forgetting someone? Uh, can't really see that person now. Like the two other tokens that you control right now? <laughs> Alright, no, never mind. Yep, yeah, I got it. This is one of the times I made a portal and made it clicking so that way you guys just don't accidentally walk into it and set it off. Oops. One of those rare times. But yeah. As you look, waving his head in this panther's face. As you look Hello, at brother. the panther here, it stands and as it does, you watch as it bears its fangs and starts to just pat its paw on the ground. You watch as its tail starts to wag. He's a poor guy. He's blind and deaf. I, uh, I give him a pat on the head. It's okay. Yeah. Pats your hand away. You that. <laughs> Make an poor insight guy. check. Okay. Or animal handling. Okay. Um, can I roll both? I'm um, giving you whichever one's better. Okay. Uh, inside is better. So, um, it doesn't see you as any form of threat. 
However, it's also not very happy that you're here. Hmm. Does oh, it... are there any? Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I was gonna say, it doesn't seem to be like guarding anything. It just kind of seems to be there, and uh, you know, I mean, maybe it, maybe it's not, maybe it's not a, a, a person, people, you know, maybe it's not a people person. It's a wild mm. cat. That people attach gold. Are there any? Are there any useful weapons on this wall, or is anything? Or is everything here decrepit? You know, it's been. I'm assuming they have been here for like thousands the of only... years. The only thing on that wall is a cat with nine tails. Okay. I'm a take. For ease of use, that cat of nine tails is essentially just going to be a whip, which you are proficient with. So I'll add a whip to your sheet, okay? Thane's just going to start whipping motherfuckers. All right, that's cool. Um, <laughs> I just would speak up. You say, have you guys noticed a really heavy cat theme in this area? No. Like, what's up like with that, right? With that one room, we found a, like, a fish bag full of silver pellets. Next room. Cat Where thing. Yeah, I mean, he must have really liked cats, man. What can I tell you? We moved on, found this cat stuff. Bane's gonna go out here and crack his new whip. I feel like whoever made this place is My bad. I was muted the entire time. I was like, the cat of nine tails made. The cat of nine tails made you think of the whip. It's 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 just a whip with extra fl uh, flails on it. It's not really to do with the cat, but it's just something. It's, it's, it's cold. It's yeah, I know. It's nothing. But there's a lot of cat th things here. I'm not crazy. There is a cat thing. I was just gonna make a joke about you getting that from the cat of nine tails of all things. But it's also, just... I, I I made a little a gripe about missing the loot. But um, I'm not really concerned about any of that. You'll just hear from out in the hallway. Oh. Whoosh! As a crisp, crisp crack over the air. As Finn, you also see just that little, almost tiniest of sonic booms come from it. That's interesting. Hmm. I'm proficient with that. It's a martial weapon, and you are proficient with martial weapons. Yeah, I'm gonna make it my monk weapon. Why not? I can, uh, I can do a stunning strike with this thing. I do not think you can pass over your damage change. I think that's the only thing. But yeah, that's the only thing. Do you cut all? Would it be doing your uh, actually? It would be doing your monk martial arts die, I think, would it not? Uh, I don't know. One sec, let me check. Dedicated if I make weapon. It my, yeah, if I make it my dedicated weapon, I think it changes a bit. To yourself, Brian, not just simple weapons. Whenever you make a turn rest, you can touch one weapon, focus your key to it. Don't count as your monk weapon until this feature. Um, must lack the... Okay... Yeah, I don't know. I'll look it up. Don't worry. You continue. I wonder if I can. Can I tear of blows with monk weapons? Is that that is that no, no. no. <laughs> that is horrible. Always an unarmed attack, which I think you have to have also, a free hand open. No, I can. I can do it armed as well. No, I can do it armed. Mr. Scottish, I am under. Um, well, not under. I'm, I'm still. If, under if I can, floor. that that is actually Somewhere? disgusting. <laughs> Um, imagine. I would. I am imagining, and it's sick. It's sickening. <laughs> I just couldn't use my well, tattoo. From a D four to a D eight for a whip alone is horrifying. But the fucking well, that's that, four right, so that's, with it. Uh, RJ, you're not up there. You're down. You're down below me. You're just. Uh, no. Sorry, I'm saying I can't see the. Oh, never mind. I move. I, I I can see now. I have to move. I have to move the map. Um, yeah. So, what the yeah, hell is this thing it. over here? That's a that's a kitty cat. Hey, cat. It's a it's like in this an actual alive panther, but I don't think it can see us. I don't like the fact that it looks like a NPC. 
token, so... Because it, because it is an NPC. It's, I said it's an actual alive cat, but it can't see us. I thought you said it. I thought you said it's an act. I thought you said it's not an actual alive cat. No, it's, it's an I, actual... I don't think it can see us. No, it's an actual little panther. Like, uh, <laughs> things that he thinks he's blind and deaf. He patted it, he patted it on the head, and most he got is a, a, a paw swipe. But not even, like, an attack, just, like, get out of my face. Oh, wait, hold on. Checking something. Uh... Oh, okay, right, right. So, dedicated weapon actually states that it can be martial, whereas monk weapons specifically state they can't be. So, that's an overruling. Okay. So, you can use your dexterity instead of strength, which I think this one should be. Uh, plus three. Plus three is inclusive of your dex. So, you're good there. Um, it uses your martial art die. So the question is, what's your martial art die? I think it's like a d6. You are seventh level, which changes your martial arts die to a d6, which increases the monk. Which increases the the, the this is the most powerful weapon existence right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's now doing a d6. Like I, like I said, I think I can fear your blows with it. Yes. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna get all the way back here. Imagine somebody hits you with a somebody like strikes you with a whip like four times within six <laughs> seconds. <laughs> oh Scottish. Oh my god, are you serious? What happened? He's he's looking at this like oh my god I can do so many I can I can do this so fast and all I'm thinking to myself is ouch. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't about to have the fastest ox drawing cart there is. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna change my uh this to the cattle nine tails. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh god help anyone and everyone. That's uh Yeah, the only thing about it is I don't think I can use my tattoo with it. Because I think the tattoo says it has to be melee, right? I mean uh, uh unarmed strike, right? Blood Fury tattoo um when you hit a creature with a, a weapon attack. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. Does it say weapon attack? It says weapon attack. Oh my fucking god. We have... I've just made a really... <laughs> oh. Made a problem, Scott. Oh, yeah, on you go, yeah. Definitely. You, you, I'm, I'm sorry. You're the one that picked up the whip, not me. I mean, I, I thought, I thought it would be like crumbling away because you know leather after so long is like, like stupid. So, well, I uh, look at the. I mean, because it was like the only thing that you described on the wall, so I'm like, it must be like I can use it. So, look at the calculation real quick. Where'd you put it? Laura, please stop pulling down my trousers or my shorts. I sit in. My ass. Uh, the calculation of the damage, uh, the attack. Yo, you just want me to roll it? No, just click the five. That'll kind of break down everything there and then for you. Where'd you click me? Oh, click the five? Okay. Uh, D4 plus three plus one. And I feel that answers the question to anybody with... Just a little bit of perception. Oh my god. Oh 
my god. Not yet, give it a sec though. Where does the plus one come from, Fane? Think. Where where does that plus one come from? That plus it one comes on. that plus one comes from the same place that a whip that's three thousand years old and made of leather isn't crumbling in your hands. It's Maybe a plus, plus one, one whip. <laughs> Man, you're slow, Monday. Um, I'm sorry. It, maybe you need to... It maybe you need to pull... Uh, not wrong one. Um, you may need to download um, the... Oh, okay. Scottish, can you do, can you do me a thing? Uh, so, I'm going to be using my second attack, like, almost always. So, can you have it roll that second damage die as well? What do you mean, second damage die? I have two attacks. Yeah. And you have it. You need to make two attack rolls. Roll. Yeah, can you have it roll that second one automatically? In the same thing. No, because each attack is its own separate d20 roll. I'd say oh, the okay. I'd say the most you could do potentially is trying is like attacking with advantage or disadvantage. But I don't actually know how the math works in that whether or not it. Gives you additional luck, air quotes. Do you need a stapler for that, love? I gotcha. Oh, did you not bother to print back to back? Wasting my tone on here. Thane just became a menace to society. Yeah. He 17 and 24. <laughs> He's just whipping people oh, now. Christ. He said, fuck a fist? Yeah. What are you? What are you doing now? You spent an awful lot of time admiring your whip there. Okay, yeah, we're gonna yeah, leave this little. Room. Out. I don't think there's anything. I don't think there's anything else in this room that we uh, can get to, or like. She even it doesn't. You know, anything that's like for us here. Pet the kitty. Pet the kitty. Pet the kitty. I'm petting the kitty. Pet the kitty. Pet the kitty. Pet the kitty. Pet the kitty. Under the uh, halberds. Oh, Renard, you're in here. Oh, sorry, no, sorry. RJ, you're in here. Clifton, you're in here. Uh, roll me a perception check, my guy. All right. Perception. Am I good at that? I'm, I'm supposed to be good at that. No. Oh, I'm not good at that. <laughs> you ain't good at that, yeah. Guys hate me. Nothing seems off. Wait. Nothing seems off. Okay, what do you do? Petting the kitties. Petting the kitties. I'm gonna check out the uh, the stone guy on the ground over here. That's what I am gonna do. I'm gonna pet the big kitty. <laughs> he is a uh, still stone. And kick him. You get a hearty toe, but he is still stone. I'm gonna pet the rug on the floor. Yay, kitty. <laughs> I'm gonna grab a. I'm gonna Yay, grab kitty. a hammer. Yeah. If I hit him hard enough, does he break? No. Oh. So he's special stone. Hey, hey guys, remember that uh, giant piston? And get them that just the giant stone, not piston, but the giant stone block that we lifted. Yeah. What if we prop like prop him underneath it? I mean, the stone block would probably move him. I don't. It's either not to mention he's probably push. like two hundred something pounds. I mean, we could drag him. It's dragging him along. Thank you. It is yeah, a long way. Yeah, right? It will do one of two things. One, we don't have to lift that anymore. All right, we could just move in and out freely. Two, if he comes to life underneath it, then it's going to squish him to death. Why would he come to life? You asked me why he would come to life? Yeah, we, we kind of... I don't know. I why mean, he's turned to stone after why we dealt with him. Why the motherfucker come to life in the first place, Fan? I don't know. Because it's I'm magic. Because I was it's riding the kitty over there. <laughs> Died, turned back to stone? He, fuck, how do we know he didn't die again before we came here? I should honestly destroy it because he thinks he's, uh... He thinks he can just pop up and attack everybody. Because I touched a cat in his room. Exactly, which is why... Isn't there actually, isn't there a pit somewhere too, closer by? No. 
What are you talking about? Wasn't there a pit? It was a oh. trap area. Yeah. And you knew it was no, a trap, whoever... but you didn't you didn't fall into any form of pit in that regard. You just um I believe it was Fane ascertained that it was a trapped area of some sort. Similar mm. to some things you'd seen before. Pointed it out and it was in such a place that you could just, you know, scoot past. I mean we can um <clears throat> we can always just uh throw him on it and figure it out but you know it might just activate like a dart trap and we get hit by it i'm to just saying fair, well, at times like this i wish we had a portable hole so we can just toss this minute I'm, I'm just saying right save him for later you know we don't know how this thing works he could just be sleeping hmm Up a rule of perception check, will ya? Who? You. Uh, I even requested it in whispers. Oh, sorry, I was... I what? like to... Sorry, I like to... You say a perception check? Sorry about yeah. that. When you're talking, I like to look at the Discord in your screen. <laughs> yeah. John, humor me. Rule of perception check, please. Perception check? Oh, yep. Let's see if this goes any better than the last one. If it goes any better than anyone's. Yes, it does. You notice. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> yes, 19. <laughs> you notice <laughs> that the aforementioned altar thing that Exodus is speaking about seems rather odd. In fact, oh, as, as you look at the wall you can tell that this thing seems to move off to the side this big 2012 mayan sun calendar thing seems to just almost roll to the side there's marks on the wall where it has dragged and smoothened out over the years millennia who knows <clears throat> do you think we get we do you think we can like push it out the way? I think maybe we can. Where where is it? Like right here? Where you guys are standing? Up here. What's this in the corner right here? It's a kitty cat. Okay, that's what's up. Is it calico? Everywhere. What's up? Is it a, is it a calico? I don't know. That's what it looks like. I'm gonna take it and put it in my bag. You're gonna pick it up and molest the cat and put it in your bag. You watch and you look. But the statue doesn't come back to life. Alright. I'm gonna uh molesting cats. One sec, I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab this one too. Right here. Kitty cat go uh, in the bag. Yeah. Uh one sec, one sec, one sec, one sec, one sec. I'm gonna call that one a tabby. I'm gonna throw it in uh the old sheet that Bench. I can't edit. I'm just out here collecting cats. Oh wait, I just gotta unlock it right here. Cool, 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 cool. I'm gonna move the sundial. Did you move it over? You find this small thin tunnel, and where there should have been a door I have accidentally put a wall. Let me fix that. There we go. <laughs> well, does it look like there's any traps in there? Are you too busy? Uh, bag? Yeah, well, one sec. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll up in a second. Uh, Scottish, check my, uh, check my sheet. <laughs> Plushies. Yeah. Taxidermy, plushy, pick one. <laughs> it's plushy. Um, 
but it's you said it's like a thin tunnel as you look behind this concealed entrance is a narrow tunnel that slants down and away as you look it is barely four foot in diameter and the walls seem to be marked with carvings in a language that you don't understand. So it's like an army crawl type hole. No, nah, it's still like, you know, your standard five, six foot. It's just, you know, it's built for people who look at food and go, nah. Mm. Um, so... Fuck it. I'm just going to go. Uh, Fane's gonna make sure he's watching for traps as he goes down the, uh, the corner. I'll move you down because it's all on diagonals, and we know how diagonals go. He's gonna. I just do like the down and left key at the same time. Oh, he's just gonna start, you know, shimmying down. You eventually come to the door. The area is tight, but you don't seem to have knocked on anything. <clears throat> Um, I'm going to slowly open this door right here. Make sure, making uh, sure it's as quiet as possible. Okay. As you creakety crackety open the door, the tunnel opens out two foot above the floor. There's a corridor running north to south. As you look, there are three visible exits here. I'll give me a sec. There's a lot to read, so this book really likes giving me paragraphs. There are three mm -hmm. visible exits. One on either side of the hallway and a double set of doors at the midpoint on the western wall, just technically directly in front of you. The door to the north is barred and seems to have no latch. The image of a bear holding a disc of obsidian is set in its face. The lintel of the door is carved in the form of entwined serpents. The southern door is plated in bronze. Etched on its symbol are two circles joined. The path leading up to it has a depression in the stone floor as though it has been worn smooth by the passage of countless feet. The floor in front of the central hallway door is sunken and glazed. Affixed across the double door is a golden seal one foot in diameter with ancient glyphs inscribed upon it. Mm. <clears throat> okay. Do you guys go right or left? Um, that way is where they went. You. I see Fane. I want to be too far behind if they need help. It's only Fane. He's, he's been dead once before. He survived. Yeah, so have I. And I understand yeah, how true. bad it is. Yeah. Um... Hmm. Me no like this area. I don't know. Uh. I guess I'll open this one right here. Hold on then. Give me a sec. Because you're close enough now that I can read this inscription. Um, just because of where you are. Understand. Let's see. To open this door, it appears that the golden seal must be broken. Ancient glyphs are scribed onto the seal. To either side of the lintel of the door are barely discernible scratches and brown stains stipple the floor and wall. Uh, I'm just double checking. See if there's any particular way. Okay. There we go. Yeah. So it took me a moment. 
Is is the gold seal made of gold? Yes. It doesn't exactly so it doesn't exactly say how it's stuck to this. But it's made of gold and it's got a price to it. Then yoink? You're speaking Fane's favorite word. It's worth more. Then, I'm gonna I'm gonna just yoink? say I'm gonna say for this one here, it's just like a, a standard gold bar, but really thin and really long, and you just <whistles> right into your pocket. It has a monetary <laughs> worth, but you know, we'll, I'll let you know that later. I'm gonna I guess I'll throw it in here and label it gold seal. Is there a page that I should put with it? Uh Tomochan thirty two. Okay. Is there a thing I can spell Tomochan with? Uh, uh abbreviate. Uh Tamil. Tango Alpha Mother Oscar. Tamil. Tamo thirty two. make it easier on you later <clears throat> i'm not even gonna write gp i'm just putting down a fucking pound symbol at this point it's worth that much <laughs> of pounds because pounds are golden in color but yeah okay. um... so which which door did you guys want? This one that I'm at, this one right here, and this one over here looks locked. This door here, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, come on. Your northern door. You know what I didn't put down? Come on, I didn't put down your um your wind rose. I apologize. It's on me. A second, I think I've got tokens. <laughs> Good, yeah. Big wind rose. Where'd you put it? I uh, I need to give it a light source as well, remember, but... That's a, that's a really big wind rose. I'm going to put it down here. I think I just need to turn it 90 degrees. Nope, I need to turn it 700 no, 270 degrees. And then I will throw a little light source on it. Bing bong bong bong. And this light source will give off token vision and Trestos Uno. There you go. There's your windows. Apologies. You I love you so much. And here's your northern door. So it apparently is also barred. With the same gold? No. It's a wooden bar, if you will. How dare it deceive me like that. Do you lift the bar? No, I do not. Because the party hasn't decided. Hmm. Check for traps. Um, they're just doors. <laughs> I don't think I can check for. Yeah, I'm gonna check each door for uh, traps, I guess. Okay. Is, is there a way I can check? Which? What do you want me to roll? Uh, uh perception. Could I give him perception? the help action as a fellow rogue who is good at you know perception? This door here. This door here is trapped. Uh, the one in front? The northern door is trapped. As you open it up. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, that was this. that was you? Yeah. Oh. I meant to say this door? Yep. Sorry. Well, he's not close enough to interact with it anyway, really. I think I've just not got the module turned on. Happens, you know. Uh, bum, 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 but... So this door right here is trapped. Yeah, this uh, technically what is the western door is trapped. 
Okay, I'm going to check this one right here. The southern door has the image of an infinity symbol on it. It mm -hmm. is not latched, but looks... It's not latched, but it looks fine. Better than all the other doors here. As if preserved by something. It's the words I will use. I will roll perception on this as well. And Exodus said he was assisting me. So I'll, I'll give it. it with him. I, I, I assist, but yeah, I like I just said in chat, I have to go be right back. Yeah. Fourteen. Uh nice door. Nice door. Nice door. You guys ready for the nice door? No. Come down there. I'm ready for the nice door. Let's go. You push your hand on the door. <laughs> Pull. It's not locked. There's no locking mechanism. As you pull on the door, it has absolutely zero give. The door so is stuck in place. Nothing flexes, nothing creaks, nothing breaks. You can ascertain that this door is magically locked. Oh, boy. Oh. Okay. Uh, you could attempt. Think we got our main main girl Melano out here. She got the knock spell. I lied. No, she did not. <laughs> I'll be. I'll let you know right now. You could go ahead and try and make your strength check. Okay. It's not impossible, but with tonight's rolls, it may as well be. But you know, I'll help him. Uh, it it'd probably be best for you to do it and I assist you because I have a negative one in strength. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's go with that row. Uh, I'll give you strength or... but I'll give you strength or athletics because, you know, whichever one may be better for you. Oh, yeah. As you watch as Renard walks up and he does just... just busts the door clean open. One pull, one hand, macho, macho, randy, ran, bang, door. The magic <laughs> fizzles away. As it does, you enter to see Bernard's a than small magic. five foot by ten foot niche with nothing inside. I love these uh... old modules. <laughs> No. Okay. <laughs> well, we know this door right here is trapped. Can you disarm uh, it? I don't. Is the from my perception roll? Do I know if the trap is magical in nature, or is it like a mechanical trap? You can tell it's mechanical. However, okay. you can also tell that the mechanical end would require the door to be open to reach as it starts on the other side of the room. Okay, um I'm going I'm gonna remove the wooden bar from over here. As you remove the bar from this door you take it off. And as you grab the door and pull Oh shit, my uh, computer's about to die. Don't you grab the door and pull. And pull and pull. Nothing happens. Could you give me a perception check? Yes, I will give you a perception check. It's you. Give it. All your mate. I have to go back. Yep. Um, where did that damn computer charge go? You are pulling. And eventually, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you 
get pulled to this wall. As you do, you take 11 bludgeoning damage. You just all watch as these hands, spectral, seem to come out and just brace Bane to the wall. And they are not letting go. Bane, oh, wow. you are... I believe the one I'm looking for is grappled. Yes. Mm. Uh, guys, help please. Alright. I'm coming. Oh, what the hell happened to you? Ah, uh, these, these hands here. Then you feel numerous wooden spikes start to protrude from the wall and slowly push into your back. Guys, help! Hurry up! I, cannot, I, cannot, I, I want to. I want to unpry the hands and pull him free. Um, it's gonna require more than just you. I'll tell you that right now. But me um, and the group strength check, some of. So there's there's a number that uh, there's a number that must be met. Normal athletics or um, strength or what? Total strength of blank or higher. Um, so, Fane, firstly, before that's happened as you're wiggling away, you do get a dexterity acrobatics check to try and get out beforehand. Okay. I realise I'm telling a monk to do something that they should be good at. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're going to start feeling in the scraping and the pulling as everyone's trying to clamour in. You just you snake your way out. You just all watch as on the wall. The spikes seem to just and jut us in out before back in. That was that was so rude. Hmm. You alright, buddy? I think so. Uh, I do need to charge my computer though. <laughs> What's a computer? I have no idea. Oh, he's bloodied. <laughs> Uh, if I can get some healing from, uh, Clifton, that'd be amazing. Some sweet loving. What's my name again? A prayer of healing, if you would. That's not my name, but okay. Clifton? Um, um, let's see. No, 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 no. I said, what's my name again? Because since you stuttered on it, I said, no, I'm not joking. And then you said a prayer of healing. I said a prayer of healing, if you would. <laughs> A prayer of healing, okay. How, how big of a healing do you need? Uh, like 20. <laughs> okay. Where's the... I don't, know if we can, I don't know if we can use the mounts, but... Um, if we can use the mounts, I'll give you 20. I will give you 20. Um, Jill, you need to build for 20. You're really only looking at about 17. Really? Okay. Yeah, I mean, you got to keep a bit for himself, you know? I might hear me drop references. I'll pop out one of these real quick. A Fifteen prayer of healing. That's for everyone. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't have anything in between. No, no, no. Pr prayer of healing to heal everyone is. I'll let you know right now. It's the first time anyone who has that spell has ever cracked it off in any of my games. Six creatures within thirty foot of you, like. That's everyone getting because, 15. Hmm, it's only here. because it takes like 10 minutes to cast. Yeah, but it's so fucking useful. So yeah, you all get a little bit of 15. That's fucking... That's touched uh, everybody up so beautifully. She's printing again. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh. My pleasure. It is my pleasure. I am here to serve. Yes. Clifton offers up a prayer to... I believe her name's Mishkal? Yes. It's been a while since I've had to invoke the god. And everybody gets that <laughs> little bit of heal. He stands now in this... What is Like 50, 60 foot? 40 foot, I was close. 40 foot by 10 foot narrow 
corridor. One door trapped. Another door trapped and done its business. A third door weeding nowhere. Okay, I think we should leave, guys. Can you disarm you know? the trap on this lost door? We would have to go through it and take the trap, whatever that may be. Is not a not a rogue thing anymore, disarming traps? Uh, Scottish said to disarm that trap, you would have to go through it, triggering the trap, because the mechanism is on the other side. Mm. Any... It's like one of those. It's like one of those old traps where the only way to disarm it is to set it off. You just, you know, th this one. There is no safe way to set it off. Mm -hmm. And we push it open from with a ten foot pole. <laughs> All right, just because it's an AD and D module. <laughs> I mean, if anybody has such, you know, I am always open to fun brainstorming. No, 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 no. I don't want to put him in initiative. I didn't want to put him in initiative. I wanted to give him an inspiration die. I got a six foot pool, six foot trident. I can stand back here and push it open. Uh, I could have the dancing sword hit it. I mean, these doors are... Can you guys see how thick these doors are? <laughs> um, let's see what else. I can fire a crossbow bolt at it. <laughs> they they obviously want somebody to push them open. <laughs> are they push or pull? Push. These are like... These are giving like a push vibe. Let's see what I can throw at it. Um. Yeah, I can throw a crossbow bolt at it. I can throw my shield at it. I can throw my crossbow itself at it, if that would do it. Definitely five pounds. Mm. I could take off my chainmail and heave that at it. It's fifty-five pounds. I'm gonna try clip them, get away from it. I'm gonna try pushing it from uh, out here. All right. You want to try pushing it? Pushing it's like standing my... from this side I and like right there. is standing from like this side and trying to push it open a uh, a choice. <clears throat> like from the backhand, like using I, strength. I get where I get where you're going with this when you say that. Uh, you ever seen a fire door before? Yeah, you have to like you have to hold it down. And, yeah, I you, know, you know, yeah, like they are usually extremely heavy, and if you're not getting yeah. it from the middle, yeah, you're you breaking to. your arm. I got you. I got you. I got you. We used to have those in my old school. Yeah. Guy ran into it and hospitalized himself for a week. You ever hold the door, a metal door open, with just your wrist while trying to stay out of somebody's way while going in? His exit is back. Hard work. That would be a new. Let's throw the rope at it. I'm, I'm joking. We, we should we, we should we shouldn't do that. I would never do that to Exodus. All right. That's not last. I'm gonna try. Hey, you know what, guys? Just get out of the way. Fuck it. I'll do it. Okay. You've already been hurt before. Bernard, move out the way of the door. I'm out of the way of the door. No, you're not. He's thinking of something that goes right back. I don't know. As you open the door, you hear this. What's your AC? 16, I think. I got a 6, a 3, a 3, and a nat 20. What's happening? You're getting shot by crossbows. No, I'm not. I'm catching those. It's a nat 20. I can catch that. Not twenty always hits regardless. But you still got to do the thing oh, okay. for the damage. You still got to do the thing for the damage. One. Um, mate, nothing else hits. There's threes. I, I ain't even lying. 
So a nat 20 hits some, something with a 23 AC? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that 20 is a fucking lie to me. That 20 is a perfect shot. It's like so there good. A good few I, times. I, I might want like, I just put the quickness of it, I rolled them less. There's the fucking break. No lie. Three threes, a six, and a nat 20. Vigilant Guardian, creature you can see hit for hit of you. Uh, reaction to swap places. So, uh, I'm not going to roll damage because there's only one. So, I'm just going to take the damage that the book gives me. Um, so, you take five piercing damage, doubled his nat 20, 10. And Renard, you're taking that form? Yep. Then you snatch him out of the way and throw my body in front of the. As you come in and the arrow just gets you good, gets you hard. Uh, but not the way you're thinking. I wasn't thinking anything. I said Jalen. Oh, you're funny. Oh, Jalen. Right. <laughs> uh, yeah, that I believe he was thinking. <laughs> that gets you right there, just right in the lower rib area. That is a. It got you. Got you winded for a second, but yeah, the door opens as it does. <clears throat> Beyond the door is a pillared porch overlooking a chamber that contains a model of a city. Mm. Arrayed on the porch are numerous clay statues of guards holding bronze headed spears. The face of each statue is different, as if they were modelled from different subjects. Next to each statue is a small glazed clay pot. The walls decorated with nice beautiful coloured frescoes depicting royal court and ceremonial garb and a king arrayed with his armies. It's a weird way of putting it. There is a chill in this chamber beyond that of a brisk winter morning. In the centre of the room is an enormous tarnished copper raft Crafted to resemble a dragon, bearing a copper coffin. The raft is afloat on a sea of silvery white flowing metal fed by several rivers that trail along the floor of this room. The flowing liquid appears to be cool. I know where they pulled that inspiration from straight away. Between the waterways, stepped pyramid temples rise skywards and Mute Pian to the gods of ancient. Three pyramids appear to have tops that can be removed. In the rest of the area, a royal complex sprawls across verdant fields and courtyards and ringed marketplaces that dot the miniature countryside. There is a blight on the spectacle, however. Several models have been smashed or melted. I um, I uh, I thank Bernard for taking the arrow for me because I uh, that one was going right for me. I couldn't dodge in time. Yeah, you're welcome. Are you hurt? Yeah, I'm okay. I I mean, hold on, hold on. I, this I is about mean, a scratch. Let Mama Clifton sort you up, honey. Well, I can... Let me just... Hmm? I can do it. I don't even need to use a spell slot. I can do lay on hands. Already. Thank you. I Thank you. Forget, I keep forgetting about that. Hmm. We've got hands! Okay, so We've wait. The, the nat 20... The, the, the nat 20 would have hit. But if it was like a 23, I could have still caught it. Yeah. If it were a dirty 20, so they had a plus 6 to hit. That's how yeah. I know nothing else hit you. Um, but say I'd got a 14. Plus 6. You could have and clocked that. But to my understanding, rules is written. Uh, nat 20 always hits. Because shield, if you use shield on a nat 20, it does nothing. And shield, the like shield raises your AC and spells that always hit, like magic missile, just don't. 
Yeah. Well, um, okay. Well, uh, monks are a little crazy. Snatching an arrow just out of the air is a little crazy. As you okay. walk through a door, you make a deck save. Okay. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, listen, um, so yeah, uh, don't know why I locked the door. That shouldn't be the case. Oh, wait, ah, uh, mm, okay. Right. <laughs> so the door doesn't lock, that's on me. Ah. Uh, You are so lucky. Mm -hmm. That deck save, unnecessary. Everyone is in such good positioning because that's a wall of fire and the damaging side is facing all of you. Mm. <laughs> and you are Yay. out of that reach. Do I not get hit by it? No, a wall of fire has two sides, an inert side and a damaging side. And when you walk through, the damaging side Jutison's back. So, technically speaking, if anyone had been directly on your back, they'd have been hit by the wall of fire. Mm, okay, I understand. Yeah, as you kind of look over, you hear the roaring of these flames. Johnny Cash once sang of the Ring of Fire. He never said fuck all about the wall. Mm. <laughs> that was Pink Floyd. I just yeah. the Ring of Fire. I just had that in my head. So he's on his own, basically. Yep. Uh, there's nothing in small, here. So a small period of time. F Fan's gonna put up a. You can't see through the wall of fire, so... Fane's <laughs> um, gonna call through it. Just, uh... I'm okay, guys. It's, uh... Just wait till it uh, extinguishes itself, I guess. And, uh, I'm just gonna take a seat right here on the uh, on these steps. Yep. Anyone doing anything else than that thing? Mm, I have nothing... I'm doing. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm doing my big one. Which is? Oh no, nothing. Ah, uh, breathing, taking breath. Uh, oh shit. Okay, so, so ring of fire. There's a wall of fire in front of that door, and I have nothing I can do about it. Okay, yeah, yeah. After doing nothing. After a period of time, he watches it. And vanishes. There's a glyph of warding with a wall of fire spell stored within it. So, <clears throat> no concentration needed. It just lasts the length of time. About a minute has passed. I don't know what that uh, person thought I was going to do. Go deeper into this room when I don't know about it. Tell my comrades. No. <laughs> like, ah, this is such a great trap. They'll go in here. Uh, <laughs> kind of slowly move up there. And then follow him into the room. Does it trigger oh. again? Glyph for warding's a one-off thing. Only triggers oh, once. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Alright. Is that... Thank you. <clears throat> Investigate the room. It's nothing off in regards to what you're seeing. Um, as as described in that huge text box, I am not reading out again. I'm gonna. It's a. This is a model of city down here. I'm gonna hop down here and uh, look around. I guess. Boom left. Our friend. Okay. Observer.
Oh my, I absolutely <laughs> fucking butchered that. What's up with the box in the middle? The box in the middle of this room is you, but here. <clears throat> um, pretty sure I read it out. Just check. Uh, <laughs> you know, I mentioned I'm pretty sure. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Why is that in my head? Yeah, so, in the centre of this room is an enormous tarnished copper raft crafted to resemble a dragon bearing a copper coffin. The raft is afloat to the silvery metal. Yeah, everything is good. Just have to do some shopping and help for a friend. And painting. You said uh, three of the pyramids had tops that come open? Uh, yep. yeah, let me get the map to see if the map notes where they are. If it doesn't, I'll just, uh, you guys are. Yep, it doesn't say anything, so I'll just quickly stack all three of them. Uh, let's go. You know, fucking, uh, DOS, and this. Yeah, yeah. As you move on forth, then to look at this, you feel pain. Do you take three fire damage? Oh, that rocks. Do I? What? One sec. There was something about the way of the Ascendant Dragon that makes... I don't know if I have that now or will I have it later. I think it's later. I think it's similar to Drake Warden. Uh, in that when you reach a certain level, you get resistance to whatever you were classing as your attack. However, your attack was last acid. Mm -hmm. If I feel a... Like Charisma, intimidation, or persuasion. Oh, okay. Presence of the dragon that. or something like that. Fizz bonds. Playing a dragon lance game, playing a fizz bands character. Look at you being a absolute method actor. <laughs> uh, uh, we have the ascended worm. Augment breath. Fuck off! At seventeenth level, you get blind state. Is that good? <laughs> I've yes. never had one it's like... it means if you get affected by the blinded condition for however long your blind sight is you are just you still see like if it's within 10 foot and you get blinded as long as the person you're trying to hit is within 10 foot you are not blind does that uh, have to do with magical darkness as well so if somebody casts darkness you it's, get, uh... you're essentially you know the way daredevil sees in the netflix tv show by echo location, yeah. That's that's you. <laughs> you just turn out fucking daredevil. You gotta love it. Um, why did I take fire damage? I I didn't touch the box or anything. Touch my box. I forgot to tell you. I what, came you uh, also, what did you circle? Uh, those are the three uh pyramid triangles. Um, Did something shoot from them? Nope. Uh, John just wanted to throw over the bar. Where'd the fire come from? I'll give you a moment to think about that one as I read. Okay. <laughs> well, that's Breath of the Weapon. I'm a fucking idiot. Yeah, no, you don't get resistance to your damage okay. type. It's only a Drake Wardens and their Drake. Hmm. Remember how I described the room and said I know where they pulled this from? Remember how we also had the Terracotta Warriors earlier on in this? Mm -hmm. Which were also pulled from the same place. 
a silvery metal liquid. Oh. So it's like molten iron or something. Mercury. Oh, okay. You said a silvery metal liquid. <laughs> okay, hold on. Mercury. Got you, got you. <laughs> uh, mercury is not in my mind. What's up with this pyramid right here? Let me smack it. Uh, roll me a D3. A D what? Three. A tres. Okay. That there's box numero dos. Okay. Uh, what's up with this? Oh, wait. I want to you... check the strap. Of course, of course, of course. Wait, 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 wait for wait, that. Wait. You already said you had to. Ah. But do. <laughs> do roll me an attack. Okay. Because there, there's, there's AC and hit points here. Yeah. As you whip it off. You hear this from the inside. Oh boy. What do you do now? I have no idea. I don't want to touch it because <laughs> because God, it says you already touched it. I'm like, okay. So you and you specifically said that you hit it. Oh. So remember that. You specifically said you hit it, so I actually make an attack roll on there. Okay. Um I'm just gonna kick it open, I guess. Okay. Try to get as yeah. least contact with this thing as possible. Uh, Eventually you much. I'll say yeah, you know, maybe making all these attacks because the the AC is twelve here, like, you know. You've got what a plus seven to hit. Oh, what like you that. do is that actually have a plus seven. So like, you need to roll pretty shit to fail here. Yeah, eventually you end up kicking it off, and as you do, you hear this ksh, as the box breaks open. You see eight beaded necklaces, four jade figurines, and three jade ring. Okay, one sec. Uh Um, okay. Add this to party loot, I guess. Is there a way I can, like, make another page? Yeah, there are buttons on the bottom that says add page. Button down at the bottom that says add page. Down on the bottom left. Bottom left, yeah, it says oh, add okay. page. Yeah, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Okay, um... Oops. Here. I can turn the dripping cave up to this. <laughs> turn up the dripping cave noises. Yeah. <laughs> we got molten mercury here. Well, mo mercury, molten. I don't think mercury can get that hot. Mm. It's a liquid at room temperature. Yeah. Alright, try the other ones. Uh, I'm sorry, I was trying to save this stuff. Oh yeah, you're typing. I'm actually looking through my sheet really quickly. Okay, what'd you say we had, uh, Scottish? You had here... <clears throat> oh, there actually was a little more, sorry, I apologize, I didn't see it. Um, 
nine coin necklaces, eight nine coin necklaces, eight bracelets of beads, four small figurines of jade, eight brace bracelets of beads. Four jade, oh, yeah. four jade figurines and three jade rings. And four jade rings. Bernard, give me a religion check, just out of curiosity. Okay. What? Do I have to save this or something? You're looking around. You've been in this room some time now. You see what's going on. There are old, old, maybe wives' tales, maybe superstitions, but they were written down so to someone somewhere they held weight. Of rooms filled with offerings and moat of burning liquids placed to keep something in and deter people from coming in. Mm. Oh, Boat out there maybe contains something we don't want to let loose. Yeah, it's about a small moat. Well, it's a small pond of fifteen by ten at its longest axis. Okay, I'm gonna tell Dane to stay away from the boat. Well, uh, we'll do. Something about that makes me think we should not bother it. So do you want to leave the chests in here alone or, you know, deal with the consequences later? Um, it's up to you. I think that these offerings, I would assume these, that's what these are, are tied to what's in the boat, but I think what's in the boat is the part that we should leave the moon. So the okay. offering, you feel like looting the tomb? I yeah. always feel like looting the tomb. They're not going to use it whenever they're dead. I'm going to hit this one too. Shifter Renard, you watch as the boat seems to start tipping is you whip this one here call that number one so you've done chest two here's chest one do you give it a swack and a crack that does nothing you don't hear any noises you don't hear any cracks but it was a hard hit okay um since i guess i didn't trigger anything i'll just pop this one open and see what's inside you go to grab and pull oh you, you pull nothing happens hmm. it's stuck there hmm. make a strength check if you wish can you uh can you pull this renard i'll help you out strength or athletics whichever's oh, better even i'm better know. with uh I'm better with dex related, I mean, you know, dexterity related stuff. Advantage. You pull with all your might, Renard, you feel just the tiniest bit of give, but... I was giving him the health action. You have advantage if you wish to take that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yep. The tiniest bit of give. But it's not. Maybe we need mechanical advantage instead of just straight strength advantage. Um, what I'll do, I think I have a crowbar in my sheet. 
somewhere. I remember using a crowbar. I don't know if that was me or was that Clifton. Clifton been awfully quiet recently. Clifton, what are you up to? No, I have a crowbar. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take my crowbar, pop it into whatever uh, slot this thing has, and pop it open. That's a uh, strength with advantage. Or athletic with advantage. There's not a lot of people... There's, uh, there's not a lot of people who know that that if you use a crowbar, it gives you... Really? Okay. <laughs> that happened. Fuck <laughs> off! <laughs> Can I try the crowbar? Yeah, you can go ahead. I, I, yeah, I was just making sure it wasn't broken. I just rolled a check and I got another number. That's just freaky. Yeah, you can try it, yeah. You... I gave him the crowbar. Start wedging it in. You... There we go. There's another fucking eight there, yo. Uh huh. <laughs> Do you place it in and then. As it breaks off, just down on the ground, cracks and bursts open. You find. Ten coin what? necklaces. Uh, one sec, one sec, one sec. I gotta pop it open. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna put a one in front of the nine. Nineteen coin necklaces. Uh. Six jade earrings. And an agate ring. Done and done and done. We just left. Archie. Archie. I'll uh, I'll text him. Is everything okay? Is the entire no, that's no, that's that's Tepler. Not sure I'm coming back. My entire day has just been ruined. Hmm. Hmm. Family emergency. His day has been ruined. That's no good. No bueno. Hi. Uh, hello. Hi. Hello. I have no idea what happened. I got booted under the call working on a math problem. Uh, well, uh, as long as you're here, that gives me purpose enough to say that we can continue, if you wish. Didn't I... Uh... Oh, I would... Hmm? Of course, said he'll be back. He said he'll be back, but then in chat he says using the bathrooms turned into a family emergency. He's then said, I'm not sure I'm coming back. My entire day's been ruined. I'ma be like 90%. Like, I, I think someone's been taken to a hospital. Oh, uh, okay. Like, that's, that's just me. You know, your day doesn't usually get ruined unless someone dies or goes to the hospital. And both of those things could be mutually related. Gotcha. Mm. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna smack this one. I've messaged them anyway, so it's up to him what I'll do is I will I'll give them the old kick from the voice chat just so that way if he's using a spawn or anything it doesn't die. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You smack a disturbed chest. What happens is you do that? I don't hear anything. You hit it, and as you do, dear God, you can tell this was written for AD and D. Yeah, you give it a hit, but but no, it's actually harder than all of your other hits, so you're good. You can hear once more a loud ping before it kind of cracks a little. As it does. I need a perception check from you, mate. Gotcha. Coming up. Perception check. I'm just going to... Nice. Do you crack it? Something... Something smells. Did it smell like that a second ago? It smells like that now. Kind of a smelly smell. Sweet. 
That's good. Sweet. Sweet smell. Hmm. Mm. Is it like a poison smell, or is it like a uh, a nice lady walks past? Why is that room? It's fucking landing on my face. Yeah, the flies oh. are getting brazen. They've been landing on me as well. Fucking flies. Um. Does your uh, does your lady just sit and watch us play D and D sometime? No, she's been in the other room. Oh, okay. <laughs> when we got when we got together, I never played D and D. She used to laugh at a guy at her work who would go and play D and D on the weekends after work. Jokes on her. <laughs> okay. No, um, she's falling, she's falling uh, into the trap. I will let you know right now. Um. The nozzle produces a spray which can be discerned by someone who succeeds on a DC 15 wisdom perception check. And that's it! Hmm. That is... That's it! Is it... Is not poisonous or anything? I didn't take any damage, so... I didn't make a con save. So. <laughs> That's it. I'm gonna try to open it, I guess. It doesn't open. Mm. This one, <laughs> unlike the rest, is very intricately locked. I wanna try to mm. break it. I'm gonna hit it again. Rocket. Lock the pick. Oh, that's right. It does specifically state that this one is just harder than the rest, and the rest have AC and hit points. So mm -hmm. if this is harder, I'll just take the sum of both. Which at this point you do hit, and as you break it open, you watch. As the entire box seems to just and roll itself into the liquid here. And as it does, you see a little witch at the bottom. Renard, make a perception check, just that curiosity. Come on. Bernard, you take five bludgeoning damage and something from the boat seems to jettison out and punch mm. you. I need everyone to now roll initiative. Okay. Hey, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back to who? Does yeah. anyone have control of fate? Uh, uh, extra set of curiosity. We all kind of like fucking. Uh, everyone plays at least two people here now at this point. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll. Uh, Tipler. Uh, yeah, I'll just play Tipler. Fuck it. This is not a combat that will last ahead. long. Our boy Exodus gets a 12. Clifton, you rolling into an initiative there, son? Yes, I am. Uh, as you forgot the mouse button for a stood second. Stood outside and watched. Oh, you come up first now. I'm going to put on music because this will be so quick. Hopefully. Do I need to move into there? No, no, no. You, you, you can yeah. see it. You can see, I believe. Not from this angle. Hold on. This happens to be to yeah, you, see. you see it's the... This is the this is the end, guys. It's Tom and it's Tom and stuff. Yo. This creature in a feather headdress seems to 
boom, and punch towards Renard. Who is it? It's actually a, a good head. headdress. That was a 20 for 5. That was min that was the fucking most damage it could have done. Mm. Mm. Snuck me in the back. He's a he's a sneaky little guy. I do yeah, actually have things around that. Uh mm. let me go ahead and do my thing. Um this won't be long, but I will cast Guiding Bolts. Oh! Phew. Rock this thing. Shit. 21 for 18 hits. Do anything else with your turn? Uh, I'm going to throw my throw my dance to sword up into the air and have it start hovering towards him. Alright. So that can get to 30 foot. So, 30 foot or 20 foot is it again? I believe it's 30 feet. Let me, let me look. It is 30. There, okay, the box is 30 foot. <laughs> Exodus will be like, oh my god, whatever can I do? My days are getting longer and there's no turning back. I'm working 9 till 5. Keep your contract. Did I say nine? I meant now one thirty. I'm not an early birdie. I'm lazy, and if that's okay, well, that's a UK so <laughs> Dash, bonus action oh. this way. He'll take three of the fiery damages before immediately firing in the rapier. Seventeen for eight. He has advantage. Uh, so seventeen for eight. Splash! Splash! And Renard. Alright. Well, I'm out of my precise trait, so I'll just have to do this the old fashioned way. I believe you'll hit. 24 mm. hits for 7 total. Mm. Alright, I, 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 can, I, can, I can't, can't guarantee your net. <laughs> Did it know it's your turn? That's it. Then our boy will go ahead and he will make an attack at Exodus and an attack at yourself. 22 for 9 on Exodus and an 18 for 8 on yourself, so that misses you. Exodus takes a punch square in the jaw. Faye, and you're up. You know, another thing that I just realized, Scottish? What? I'm gonna, oh, I'm sorry. I was on the thing. Uh, I'm gonna move down so I don't hit my comrades. Uh, I can hit from right here. Because? It has a 10 feet range. What has a 10 foot range? The whip. Oh yeah! Whip has range. <laughs> 9 misses, 21 for 6 will hit. You, you know, warm up with the first one, pull it back a little too early and it Watch it rips. Did anything else your turn? Um, sure. It's 13 necrotic. Slaughters it. And with that, like I said, very short combat. Set, give me a little set. I'll be back in a moment. Then, as the doppelganger. Falls to the floor. The room, as it were, day is still running with its liquid metals, but the boat now seems to just be rocking but slowly coming to a steady, you know, the steady a bit of. Steady flotation, obviously. I uh, I move the guy's body into the liquid metal. Burns up. Oh, as it should. Can I uh, bring the boat like to the 
to us without kind of like burning myself oh yeah like with these ones here for example you know as long as you're not walking on you know squares that are predominantly that you can easily walk over it mm -hmm. so let me want a square that's 50 percent or more liquid that would class it that you're taking damage so like right here yar okay yeah but um i want to check out what's in the boat i guess yep wait inside the boat Uh do 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 Save the boats. <laughs> it was empty. Okay. How about the um was the last chest I checked just a trap? Uh the last chest that you checked vanished. Popped into the liquids, can ascertain gotcha. that maybe there was something else going on there that uh, you didn't quite pick up on. Well, okay, last thing. What is this in the corner? So glad you asked. <laughs> <laughs> Requires me to. I'll let you know right now. All right, all right. <coughs> See this box here. From here. Uh... Over here, and into here, one room. That's a page and a half for one fucking room. And you know what the worst mm. part is? The worst part is, it continues on the next page afterwards. The only thing is, I can't see your camera because it says unstable internet. I don't know if that's me that has to come back and join again, or... That'd be you. Okay. So. Motherfucker. Who left? <laughs> there you go. Is there a way I can like reload your camera? Cause I will receive a pretty face. I can't see it either. He's straight calling me. Be do do. No, no, smash bag. You never know. But I will read as we have here. <clears throat> in the alcove, framed by pillars, stands a stone bench on which a shriveled corpse huddles. Scattered around its feet are various trinkets. The body is that of an adolescent male whose heart has been cut out. Mm. What? We're dealing with some real fucking cult shit here. As you look, however, you can see the honest face. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Look at the time. I gotta make dinner fast before I get on the bus at five. You can see the honest, now gaunt, decrepit face. The flesh that <laughs> remains. There is a painted white skull. So, uh, go ahead and give that religion check if you like. Yep. Uh, there we go. That's a good roll. That's a good roll. You. Very much. No. For some. Weird and wonderful reason. You. I read a book when I was a kid. <laughs> you spent some time, you know, just researching shit. Like, ah, yes, this and that, and this and that is the thing that does the thing. And you notice that it looks an awful lot like a. Uh, the image in the middle the religious symbol to Shamosh hmm. Shamosh is an evil god right? yes okay I hear no mm -hmm. rest
well, you know. Hmm. Like trinkets, you just mean stuff like that, right? Trinkets, like, uh, specifically gemstones that are carved, uh, a miniature golden llama, <laughs> a ring with a pink gem and a silver plaque with a embossed skull. Similar to that, which is painted upon the skull. I ain't gonna touch any of that. Um, keep it pushing. <laughs> yeah, I'm not touching any of that. Bernard, are you coming? All the way up, sorry. Let's go. Where are you, Mario? Exodus? Oh, yeah. Somebody bring an Exodus along? I'll bring Exodus. Do, 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 do. Okay, stand once more on this. Rather large room. Have I uh, have I investigated this room? Made sure there's nothing we're missing. Multiple times. I think I did. Yeah, I feel like I did. Okay. okay. Uh, I'm gonna take uh, I'm gonna take this cat right here. So let's uh, what's that? Let me do something real quick. Yeah, I'm gonna take that. Taking another stuffed cat. <laughs> you know? I play, um. I play, I play Vexation's Madness trait better than Vexation. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't lying. Um, uh, let's see, I'm checking or something. Mm. You know what? Let's play, let's play the fun game here. Uh, I'm gonna set a random BC by D20 plus five. Yeah, you've been in this room long enough, and you've seen some of the weird and wonderful. I'll give you another perception check. You're gonna be really annoyed that this is a very low DC. Uh, knowing my rolls, because I just got a nat twenty. I'm probably going to fail it anyway. You notice that the door to what is essentially the southeast, the wall to the southeast here, seems to have scuff marks on the floor. It's taken the wind and, you know, the stale air the views have been kicking up and around and the clearing of the cats to make this more known. There we go. That's a good bullshit reason as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> oh, wait, have, we, uh, have we tried this way yet over here? Oh, Before nobody we wants to try this way. Oh, wait, are you talking about this? Oh, it looks like a door right there. It do look like a door right there. Alright. Um, I, I push. As you do, the wall seems to... swings up. Hmm. Okay. I, uh... I carefully check if there are no traps before. I uh, proceed too far into this uh, corridor. As you look on and in, in and about this place here, the walls of this passage glow a magenta, bathing the corridor with a ghastly hue. After 15 feet, the floor. It's gosh, I gotta go, I'm sorry. That's right. As you watch the floor seems to just drop away. 
filled the pit that fills the rest of this hallway. The pit, 25 foot deep, eight large spidery bushes with thorny stems. White leaves and enormous yellow blossoms grow across the bottom. Five feet beyond the nearest edge of this point is a bronze bar set level with where the floor once was and the pit walls to either side. Further out, similar bronze rungs set at five foot intervals can be seen. On the floor, by the edge of the pit, is a scattering of broken, broken, rotted, wooden planks. I think so I can get like right here without falling in, right? Yeah. However, I feel given that we have just lost half the party, mm -hmm. you'll now probably a good time just to call it for this session. Right. Because that's... I don't know what's going on, but I know RJ's got food and such. So, we can... Oh uh, yeah, RJ gotta make food and he has to get hop on the bus at like 5 o'clock. Yeah, so... Don't know what's going on with Tipler. Uh, it might mess me, it might not, but for us, let's call it here for now. We've, uh, mm -hmm. we've trepidatiously explored two and a half rooms, but you know, one of those rooms was page and a half. So, let's call it there. Uh... So, are you 